So I want to experiment with a really short haircut today, just so I can actually see where I'm currently at with, with, with the hair and just to see where the problem areas are. What's happening everyone? Sam Modlinski here and welcome back to the YouTube channel where 18 to 45 year old men come to discuss the thoughts and feelings on male hair loss. And today I just wanted to update you guys from the previous video of the week when I said I was going to get my hair cut because I felt like the length of my hair was really causing a bit of a thinning effect and it was getting a little bit messy and I thought, you know what, I just want to shrink my hair right down. I want to be as low maintenance as possible and really see where my hair is currently at in regards to the rest of it being thin and where the front of it is I kind of at. So yeah, we're eight months in today, I think it's today. And yeah, I'll give you guys a close up now. So I went to the barbers and I got my skin fade right around the back and sides. So as you can see, it's pretty much skin bald up to the up to near the top. And at the front, I got it as, as short as it could possibly be. So I didn't have the flick. I didn't have like the quiff. You know, the wind won't blow in any kind of direction now. And if I'm being honest, it looks so much better. It looks a lot thicker. You can very rarely see. I've got I've got the light coming down in, so you can even at the worst possible lighting, you can barely see any of the scalp. And don't forget, I only got the hair transplanted at this area. So this kind of area here is my old natural hair, and the back of the area too is my natural hair. Where I was worried that I was thinning out a little bit, and you know what, I'm thinking I'm going to get a second transplant for the rest of my head. Um, I want to show you guys the back. So you can see it's skin bald, and I discussed that if I did go and get a second transplant, would I be worried about over harvesting the donor area? So I'll give you guys a look at that now, and you can see how good condition it's actually in. So I hope you can see with the good lighting that this whole area is very clear with very, very minimal redness. And I'm very happy with how this donor area has turned out. I couldn't, I couldn't really argue with how, how the front fitness has turned out for, 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 for the hair transplant results. So overall, this is just a quick update video to kind of show you guys the power of getting your hair tidied up, you know, getting the back and sides shaped up so you feel more confident in yourself and really experimenting with your hair. You know, some people's hair looks thicker when it's longer and you, you can sweep it apart and you can really tie all the hairs together to give it a better look effect. But I think personally, for my like mousy brown, blondy brown hair, this kind of style and length is best for me to really keep a respectable amount of thickness while a decent style at the same time. So I think I think it's very important that you have a good relationship with your barber because when I, when I went to the barber shop and I, I just kind of said to him, you know, Aaron, look, my hair is great at the front where I had it transplanted, as you've seen recently. But I'm worried about my old areas thinning out a little bit. So I want to experiment with a really short haircut today, just so I can actually see where I'm currently at with, with, with the hair and just to see where the problem areas are. And I think going forward, I'm going to look at um, some sort of minoxidil or some kind of treatment to go along with my finasteride to really attack these areas here and give these areas the best possible chance to rejuvenate themselves and become a lot thicker and a lot healthier because of course I don't, I don't just want to have a strip of hair here and that's it looking like Brazilian Ronaldo from 2002 World Cup and I'm still using the Alvin Organics Biotin Shampoo I think this stuff really helped me out a lot you know once I've had a shower with this stuff especially with my short hair it just feels mint you can actually notice the change in thickness once you use the shampoo and it, it really smells nice and it, it massages you nice with the hair leave it on for five minutes and it really does keep my hair really nice and fresh so i'll leave this down in the description below you can grab it off amazon for like nine pounds ten i think it is a massive bargain i'm actually going to get the larger one which is like 20 pounds lasts a little bit longer but yeah i swear by this stuff it's absolutely mint i really need to get some oral biotin um as the shampoo is topical and it, and it draws into the scalp I wanted to get it into my digestive system, I wanted to get it into my blood and really feeding up through the scalp to give myself the best possible chance of having some good growth and healthy hair. 
Um, this one's from Nutrivita. I've got this off Amazon as well. Uh, it's a very, very well-known brand and it's highly respected. The reviews on it were phenomenal. That's what kind of made me go for it. People are saying you've had strong, healthy hair growth within like three to four weeks. Um, I've had it for about a week and a half now. Not noticed anything spectacular yet, but just knowing that it's high strength biotin and it's in my system, it puts my mind at ease to know that I'm giving myself the best possible opportunity to get some biotin into my scalp. Just a quick update for you guys. Drop a comment down below and hit like. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, why? Why are you watching these videos if you're not subscribed? Because you know I'm putting out fire content. You know I'm putting out consistent videos. So you might as well just hit subscribe so you're keeping on top of everything that I'm talking about and get involved down below in the comments because we really are building a community here of people that are coming out of the shell. People are expressing their thoughts and feelings on male hair loss when for the past 20 years, it's been a hush-hush thing. And if you're going bald, then that's just it. But yeah, we're all in this together. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.